Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Now we got the project M&M &M, back into the shop. We're addressing another code. On our prior episode, we looked at that P0300, which was a misfire. Man, we got all new coils on here. Tom's back with us with rockauto.com. The coils and spark plugs, we're in good shape, man. It idled smooth, but you took it on a test drive. How'd it drive? It, it drove real, or ran real smooth too, like a V8 should. Lots of power and, and no hesitation. That's awesome, and now we need to address that second code we had, and that was a P0442. That was a small evaporative emission leak. Well, what does that mean? Well, evaporative emissions is an emission system that actually catches the fumes, and we're gonna check it with this smoke machine right here. And you can see when I push the button, it's actually gonna develop some smoke, and when it develops some smoke, it's gonna go through the system. There it is right there. So Tom, if you walk them through, how are we gonna introduce this into the system? Well, there's a, a port right here that has a Schrader valve in it, similar to what you'd have to put air in your tire. And I'll just pop that out and then I can introduce the smoke. And when you do that, it's gonna run through the whole system. And once he starts introducing the smoke into the system, I got a flashlight right here, Tom. I'll start looking for it, go ahead. We look around the purge solenoid and up top here, running back to the car, I don't see much here. You keep introducing the smoke. I'll take a peek back here. Now, gas caps, very common. Nothing there. Smoking under the car, Tom. You know what that means. <laughs> yeah, we have a whole system that's underneath the car, and the whole system is located right here. This is actually the charcoal canister, and the charcoal canister is what stores those evaporative emissions. I'll show you that in a second. But, Tom, this whole system, it's pretty cool because we can get the separate components at Rock Auto, or we can get the whole thing. Here's an actual purge solenoid, which is located up here. What does that do? Well, you've got fuel, va fuel vapors coming up from the tank that are going to be sucked through the manifold and burned up in the engine, and then when the car is off, vapors might come back out, and, and, and this controls the flow in and out of the, of the fuel vapors in and out of the manifold so they don't get released into the air. And that could fault. That's an electrical component that actually has mechanical hookups to it, so that could be a problem with the system, or you could have a vent solenoid, or like I said, the gas cap could go bad. A lot of times they leak, it's going to cause a pressure release, and it's going to actually read it. Here's the actual vent solenoid. Now, the vent solenoid is located right here in the whole unit that's located under the car, and when we smoked it, we actually tipped this unit down, and you can see the smoke pouring out from one of the hoses right there. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's going to be easy because Rock Auto provides either the whole thing or the components to fix the car with. Tom, you got something on Rock Auto that'll help anybody with some common failures or pattern failures on these cars. Yeah, if you're looking through rockauto.com, you'll see parts that the, the uh, print is in bold, bold print, or you'll see little heart icons. Those are all signals that cust other customers have bought those parts frequently, and that can be a clue about a, a common failure for that vehicle. My wife has a 93 Ford Tempo. Uh, it was making an awful clattery sound. Uh, I look in the catalog, harmonic balancers in bold print. That was a clue. To, I thought to look there, and sure enough, the harmonic balancer is a common, commonly replaced part on that particular engine. Now, that's huge for a professional tech, someone like myself, or even a do-it-yourselfer, because if I see that bolt on there, you know, there are pattern fares with the car. This happens to be one of them. So we'll go ahead and we'll replace this. We'll clear that code. We'll take it on a test drive. Project m and coming along really, really well. But, you know, let's walk over to the computer, because I want to check out some of these common failures. I got some other problems that I might need some parts for. Sounds good. Well, we chased down our PO442, that small EVAP leak. I mean, smoke in the system, that was the way to go, man. I mean, we saw the leak back there. You know, we went ahead and replaced the gas cap, and we went ahead and placed the whole EVAP system. But that brings us to those pattern failures. I mean, these cars have pattern failures, and that's what we call it in industry. I know they're common failures, but, you know, there's so many cars. There's coils on that car. There's EVAP systems. There's mass airflow sensors that really, when they come in, it's a lot of items that we check really, really quick. You can help us there as well. At rockauto.com, we can help you identify those black box sort of parts, what is, even is this part, and then we have a couple ways to see us if it's something that other customers have been replacing frequently. If other people need to replace it on their, their cars, you may need, may need to replace it on yours also. Let me pull up our grand marquee. We can look at, uh, yeah, ignition coils. See how yeah. ignition coil is bold compared to ignition up here? Okay. Um, that tells us a lot of customers buy ignition coils for this vehicle. And we did that last week. I mean, you know, that misfire code, it was a random misfire, but then what a customer may do is put a coil on and then another one fails and a coil on and there's eight of those jokers. So, you know, we replaced them all, but I could see why that someone would go to this. And you also have a lot of choices on the coils. Right, a lot of choices is a clue. If a lot of manufacturers are making replacements, then there's a big market for, for replacements. These hearts are a clue. These are um, brands of uh, coil that people have bought a lot from us. So 
bold print means we sell a lot of them, and the hearts are, these are the customer's top choices. Now what about the mass airflow sensor? I know there's a lot of problems on that car. Can you dig that up? I bet you there's a heart there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're totally, especially in Florida, we got love bugs and they're flying in them and you know there's a heated element and it's causing false readings and all kinds of things so we're cleaning them continuously and they cause big problems on these cars especially when it comes to running so let's just take a look, I'm curious. So mass airflow sensor, sure enough, yes wow. it's bold print. Bingo. We have lots of manufacturers, we, we have a, a Motorcraft and Cardone are, are hearted, a lot of people are, are buying that particular part number. So yeah, yeah, definitely another uh, another way to get clues about how to diagnose, diagnose your vehicle based on what other people are buying for it. Well, Tom, how cool is that? I mean, this is a good way to diagnose your vehicle. I mean, if you have a bunch of problems that are failing and everybody's buying them and your diagnostic leads you in that direction, it's probably what's wrong with your car. But stick around. We got plenty more Tech Garage when we return.